Hello everybody and welcome back to part 8 of Let's Play Dragon Age Inquisition. The last playthrough was a bit stilted because we missed a lot of the Val Royo due to my error in recording. I will try and record it in hour slots this time so that I won't miss anything and it won't cut off. Fingers crossed it works out. We'll see. Um, so to begin with, I've already got Sarah and Vivienne. I'm going to go and talk to them and get to know them a little bit. We're then going to go meet up with the rebel mages in Redcliffe. Um, and then possibly from then on we make our choices. Now if you come across anything that I've missed and you want me to go and grab it, um, please do let me know. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy the, uh, the let's play. Let's go. Greetings, Herald of Andras. How fares your quest to seal the breach? Not as well as it should. How can people focus on trivialities when faced with the breach? It is easy for us to imagine that mundane matters fall aside in tumultuous times. The Chance of Light does not speak of feeding troops or arranging meetings or any such mundane concerns. But every organizational detail you contend with, Andraste herself wants. These trivialities are steps on your path to victory, even if history never remembers them. You keep talking as though I'm the equal of Andraste. Do you know how unnerving that is? I can only imagine. But we are all given to our purpose under the Maker. A sword does not ask to be forged. And frankly, if such a comparison gives you pause, I do not see that as a bad thing. In any case, I pray this Inquisition proves less brutal than its predecessor. Can you tell me about the original Inquisition? The original Inquisition was formed after the First Blight, well before the Chantry as we know it. The Inquisitors were hunters, zealots who trapped and killed cultists and dangerous mages. As Andraste rose to power, the Inquisition came into her service. Instead of hunting those who would do harm, the Inquisitors spread the chant of light by force. No wonder everyone is so nervous around this. Who chose that name? Divine Justinia herself. I understand that this was not a popular decision. In any case, once the chant of light had spread far and wide, there was less need for zealots. The Inquisitors became the seekers of truth, and eventually the Templars. We're more zealous than the Templars and the Seekers. I suppose that explains Cassandra. Do you know what impresses me most about the original Inquisition? They fought horrific battles, killed and died for their cause, and when it was time, they put their swords away. Perhaps the name was divine, Justinia's message. That when the Inquisition is needed, it will strike without mercy. But when its work is done, it will put its sword away. Is there anything I can do to help you or your people? My healers would benefit from more supplies. We have run short of even common goods with so many wounded. If you could deliver this list and the items on it to Quartermaster Thren, she could get us what we need. It may not seem like much, but it would enable my healers to save many lives. Farewell. Until next time. Ah, Lady Trevelyan. May I have a moment? Yes, Ambassador? I'd like to discuss your parents. A little sudden, but it's time someone made an honest woman of me. What? Very amusing. This is serious. I'd like to dispatch a courier asking the bands of House Trevelyan to align themselves with us. What are your thoughts? Should we approach your family for their formal support of the Inquisition? The bands of Trevelyan never turn down a partner if there's something in it for them. From the way my relatives scramble for status, you'd think we were all lesion. That depends. How much do they like the gold brocade? 
Val Royale has noted your lineage. It gives the Inquisition some legitimacy, although not so much as we'd hoped. Why not? You are from Ostwick. Orlesian nobles consider the Three Marches somewhat... quaint. Orlesians are just baffled free marchers governing themselves without an empress to hold their hands. A peasant might get away with that insult, but not someone of your stature. Uh, speaking of which, I should thank you for your patience with the simple quarters. The accommodations in Haven are surely rough for someone of your birth. Don't worry about me. Haven's more than livable. Really? If that is how you feel, I'm pleased to hear it. Until next time, my lady. Greetings. What do the people make of us? Despite our fame, we're low on steadfast allies. We must aim for more. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? None in particular. Our guests are well pleased with what they've seen. You've brought back some fascinating things. We're putting them to good use. You said Cassandra has you researching creatures. Yes. If you find anything interesting in your travels, I'd appreciate you bringing it to me. I may be able to find some weakness our soldiers can exploit when fighting various creatures. At the least, some materials are useful for making potions or gear for the Inquisition. You said you were a mage? No, just an apprentice. I was a year or so for my harrowing, at least. The enchanters were being kind. I was never very good at magic. I've got just enough talent to be a danger to other people. But when the mages rebelled, people like me had nowhere to go. The Templars would have killed us. Luckily, Seeker Pentagast took me in. Along with the Tranquil, I was protected. I'll speak with you later. Thank you again for what you've brought back. If you find anything, please bring it in. You came from the circle at Ostwick, did you not? Senior Enchanter Lydia was a dear friend of mine. Were you at all acquainted? Lydia was my instructor. She was almost a mother to me. I never met a wiser soul than her. I understand she was killed by one of her own students when the Ostwick circle rebelled. I think we both agree that this war must end. The war benefits no one. It must end. An order must be restored. If only the rebels saw things so clearly. Justinia's death has shattered the balance of power in Thedas. If it is not restored quickly, countless lives will be lost. Mages, Templars, innocent people of all kinds now look to the Inquisition to decide their fate. That's why you wanted to be here. To have a hand in deciding that fate. Wouldn't you? For almost a thousand years, the world believed it was in the hands of the Maker. And now many believe you are the agent of his will. Whatever the truth is, that belief gives you power. If that's true, then I'll put it to good use. I suppose we'll see. I've stolen enough of your time, my dear. Don't let me keep you. Excuse me. I've got a message for the Inquisition, but I'm having a hard time getting anyone to talk to me. What's the message? We've got word of some Divinta mercenaries gathering out on the Storm Coast. My company commander, Iron Bull, offers the information free of charge. If you'd like to see what the Bull's charges can do for the Inquisition, meet us there and watch us work. I look forward to meeting this Iron Bull. We're the best you'll find. Come to the Storm Coast and you can see us in action. Apothecary Adon wanted to know when he might be able to provide the materials he needs.
Have you had any trouble with them? Not at all. I will inform you if that changes. what we have. Report that. That was very odd. If those refugees are going to defend themselves, they'll need real defences. I've got a few ideas. I've built watchtowers in the areas you recommended. Nicely done. That'll give both your refugees and our farmers some warning next time trouble pays a visit. 
I'll speak to the master and have weapons sent to your people at the crossroads. You deal with the wolves, and our farmers will be safe again. The wolves should be back to normal now. They shouldn't be any further trouble. That's good to hear. I'll send word to the farmers and let my husband know what you've done. It may not seem like much, but you've given this land hope it desperately needed. Thank you. Elena says you got rid of those demon-cursed wolves. It should be safer for our farmers now. You've held up your end of our bargain, Inquisition. You'll have my whole stable and good hands to go with it. You sent your stable hands and your horses to the Inquisition. What about you? Well, you've cleaned up the area, and I can't say I'm not tempted. Still, it feels wrong to abandon my land to go play horse master again. Are you Andrassian? This is a matter of faith. The Maker would want the best to join us. I've heard some things about you lot. Can't say I'm not interested in what it all means. All right, Inquisition. I'll look to your horses myself. Never let it be said that Redcliffe gave less than the best. Just let me settle matters here and say goodbye to my wife. I'll meet you at Haven.
Nothing to report, sir. Both Templars and mages here, they profit greatly from smuggling Lyrian. This is something I'm going to come back to later, um, for different reasons that you will find out later on. Remember how to carry your shields. You're not hiding, you're holding. Otherwise, it's useless. Blackwall? Warden Blackwall? You're not. How do you know my name? Who said that? Ah! That's it. Help or get out. We're dealing with these idiots first. Conscripts, here they come! 
Sorry, bastards. Good work, conscripts. Even if this shouldn't have happened, they could have... Well, thieves are made, not born. Take back what they stole. Go back to your families. You saved yourselves. You're no farmer. Why do you know my name? Who are you? I know your name because I'm an agent of the Inquisition. I'm investigating whether the disappearance of Wardens has anything to do with the murder of the Divine. Maker's balls. The Wardens and the Divine. That can't... No, you're asking so you don't really know. First off, I didn't know they disappeared. But we do that, right? No more blight, job done. Wardens are the first thing forgotten. But one thing I'll tell you, no Warden killed the Divine. Our purpose isn't political. So where are the rest of you? I haven't seen any Wardens for months. I travel alone, recruiting. Not much interest because the Archdemon is a decade dead, and no need to conscript because there's no Blight coming. Treaties give Wardens the right to take what we need, who we need. These idiots force this fight, so I conscripted their victims. They had to do what I said, so I told them to stand. Next time, they won't need me. Grey Wardens can inspire, make you better than you think you are. Well, thank you, Warden Blackwall. But now where does this leave us? Inquisition. Agent, did you say? Hold a moment. The Divine is dead and the sky is torn. Events like these, thinking we're absent is almost as bad as thinking we're involved. If you're trying to put things right, maybe you need a Warden. Maybe you need me. Warden Blackwall, the Inquisition accepts your offer. Good to hear. We both need to know what's going on. And perhaps I've been keeping to myself for too long. This Warden walks with the Inquisition.
Wait. What? I have a... What the fuck?
So, Enchanter to the Imperial Court. That's a fancy title. How very observant. Why aren't you holed up with the Empress in Halam Shiral? Grand Duke Gaspard laid siege to the city while I was attending to business for the Circle. Lucky for you, I guess. The Circle's shattered, the Empire is at war, and the Divine is dead. Only an imbecile would consider this lucky. I remember what's this way and I'm not doing that yet. Nothing to report, sir. Good to have commerce restored. Under constant watch on that damn thing. Sound the alarm at the first sign of demons.
was that? We don't know what these rifts can do. That one appeared to alter the time around it. There are many mages in Redcliffe. Maybe Fiona will know what's going on. Make her have mercy. It's over. Open the gates. We spread word the Inquisition was coming. But you should know that no one here was expecting us. No one? Not even Grand Enchanter Fiona? If she was, she hasn't told anyone. We've arranged use of the tavern for the negotiations. Agents of the Inquisition, my apologies. Magister Alexius is in charge now, but hasn't yet arrived. He's expected shortly. You can speak with the former Grand Enchanter in the meantime. Hey. Is it just me, or is something weird going on here? We should talk to the Grand Enchanter. my heart shame. I hear most of the apostates are dead, or hiding. We should be getting more refugees soon. Do you think we should let them into the village? Before the magic took her. I don't want you talking to the rebels. We're normal folk. We keep our heads down and let the mages and the Templars kill each other. Okay. Right. That's why. people dying for want of simple herbs my apologies can i help you there are refugees at the crossroads who would benefit from a healer of course they would these attacks by the templars have endangered countless innocent lives but if i go to the crossroads to help i might end up in danger myself i doubt those refugees would risk their lives for a knife here why should i risk mine for them The Inquisition honors the efforts of all who are willing to help in these dark times. Help the refugees, and we will ensure that you are protected and respected. All right. If the Inquisition soldiers are there, I might be safer regardless. I'll see you at the crossroads soon. Just give me a moment to gather my things. What if I took flowers to your wife's shrine for you? I... I do not know what to say, except thank you. I never expected anyone not of the blood to care. My Senna would be grateful. Her shrine lies on a hill to the west, near the table stone. Thank you. Stay safe. Walk in peace. Anything you need, 
I can get, probably. Much Are you with the Inquisition? As you've wandered, have you by any chance seen a ram that is, um, different? Lord Wolseley wandered off, and he's very special. If you could find him, I'd be most grateful. Your ram has gone missing? Yes. I'm certain that if he heard his Jimmy missed him, he'd come right back. He's likely at our family's old summer cabin. It's by the lake in the southern hills. If you do find him and send him back, I'd be happy to pay you. I'll speak with you later. If you find my ram, please send him home. 